Hey guys, I got a few new things for Christmas, uh, bushcraft oriented. Uh, I got my wife and my mom to get me uh, all bushy things, so that was pretty cool. Um, right here, I got a Condor 12 inch Bolo machete there. I've got to do some work to the handle still. Uh, KGD has one and he, he thinned out the handle a bit and it, it actually feels a lot better. This one's uh, too wide, uh, but I've got a Dremel too, so I will. Uh, fix that up and I also got this huge Maxpedition water bottle holder I think it's called the 12 by 5 um, and it's got a zebra can in it and like the small zebra cans in it and uh, a water bottle and a sterno stove which is a pretty cool setup I think <clears throat> it's a lot better bigger than the uh, other one I had and it's uh, it's freaking cool got my old turly knives patch on there so this is uh, how it nests in here. I've got to strap these on. My side straps can keep it uh, from wobbling. But I don't have the sterno stove in it right now because I'm not going to use it. Got my Nalgene in there. And then it's got a small billy can. I haven't used it yet. I'm going to try that out today. And this, the, my whole reasoning behind this was I had I had the smaller um, couch and I had just my stainless steel cup with the wire bail on it, but the wire kept ripping the inside of the pouch, so I didn't really want that anymore. And it was kind of ghetto. I don't know. I didn't have it done up too nice. So and then in the bottom is the lid and the, the little dish that it comes with. So I'm just actually going to use it for a, a, a cup today. I'm going to make some tea and drink it over there. I don't see it, any reason why I shouldn't. You know, I never thought I was a fan of Condor at all. I had a neck knife from them and I didn't really like it. And I just don't like the way the bush lures look and all that stuff. Uh, that's just my opinion. And I'm not saying that they're bad or anything. I just don't like them. Um, but then when my buddy Ken, KGD, got one of these bolos, um, <laughs> I started using it a lot and I actually really, really like it. It's a very useful tool. Uh, we both beat the crap out of our stuff and, and he, he really, really beat his up. And uh, no worse for wear at all. It comes with a good edge on it. And there's this false edge up here for um, if you got a dig or whatever in the ground. This is something that you don't worry about. Like if you, if you stick it into the ground or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all good around, all around good tool. I think I paid 60 bucks with shipping to Canada, that's not bad at all. Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, the handle, it's freaking wide. So I gotta take my Dremel and, and, and knock a bunch off. Uh, it's too wide for comfort to be honest. But that's all right, we'll fix it up good. I'll play with it today and uh, have some fun. Go, go on. Thank you. 
Go on, buddy. And uh, for making feather sticks, you can use up here. It's not it's not sharpened, so it's not bad. It's kind of like a choil. I guess it is a choil. I'm not sure. Not the most comfortable thing, that's for sure. 